Well, hello friends, Mark Holmes here, and as always, thank you guys for watching, commenting, and subscribing to the Joe B Sports Report. Without you guys, this literally does not work. This is a message or a plea to one Jerry Jones. Jerry, I'm a nobody. I am Joe the fan. I love my Dallas Cowboys. Ooh. I got the cutter. I love my Dallas Cowboys. I'm a diehard fan. I am a die-hard fan. I literally think about the Dallas Cowboys first thing when I wake up in the morning. You can ask my fans who are here. I hold up the brand. Every single day. I love the customer. I love the couple. I love the star. I love my team. I'm excited about what we have built this year. I look at the players that we got on the field. I feel better about the coaching staff. Everything looks so much better. Except getting a cigar. That's better. Much better. We're a week and a half away from training camp. You've amassed more talent than we've had in a long, long time. And you should feel proud about that. But the one thing that just bothers me is what we continue to do every time there's a contract. We did this with Demarcus Lawrence. You know, we said, oh, well, we thought he was going to take less money, and then we end up making him out to be a bad guy. And we divide the Dallas Cowboys fan base. We get fuel for all these idiots out here to talk about. You know? Oh, let him walk. He's not that good. He wants too much. He's greedy. And we're doing the same thing with our quarterback. We have given so much ammunition to the Stephen A. Smiths, the Jason Whitlocks, the Marcellus Wileys, that day after day they're going through and they're trashing our quarterback, dividing our fan base where you've got, you know, tar and feathers on one side of the fence. He's a bum. Get rid of him. He's got accuracy issues. You need to end this thing. Get this deal done. Because this, this always happens. I, I don't understand it. We go through this every single time. We end up basically making the player out to be a greedy SOB that's no good. Then we turn around and pay him. And we got half the fan base that now hates that player because they got paid. Going into training camp... You want your quarterback, your team, all these guys focus on one thing and one thing only. Not if, do they really care about me? Do they want me? Am I going to be replaced? No, you want them to know that you believe in them. You want them to be focused on that one thing, and that is winning a damn Super Bowl, Jerry. It's been too damn long. 
My son was fresh out of diapers the last time we won a Super Bowl. And I've been there, Jerry. I've been there. I've been there standing up for this team. I've believed everything that you've said. I have promoted your team. I have supported your team, not only with my words, with my money, with my heart and my soul. And I'm sick and tired of the same old stupid ass bullshit that we keep going through. No other team out there, no other quarterback is going through this kind of crap that you are allowing to happen, Jerry. This whole thing of, oh, you can't get other players. You don't think that Big Ben needs some players around him after losing Le'Veon Bell and Antonio Brown? Yet, they had no problem paying him, did they? You don't think that Russell Wilson needs some more people now that the Legion of Boom is gone? Nope, no problem. We paid him. The Eagles, who were $25 million over the cap at the beginning of the league year. You don't think that they need to pay a few more people to have around in the future? They didn't seem to have a problem with it. And this whole narrative that's being spent out there that quarterbacks just grow on trees. You luck out. Thank God you ended up not getting Paxton Lynch or Carla Cook. For me, Jerry, it's about that star. It's about those Dallas Cowboys. It's about this team. And we need this team and the fans and all of us to get behind this team.